greetings again. In some respects, this is a response to Life of Apollos in his response of Pat Condell. But this is also targeted towards the moderate theists in general. I want to begin by saying that I'm not here to defend Condell. Although I tend to agree with his critiques of religion, it's not my job or anyone else's job to defend his beliefs. That's not to say that you can't jump into the debate, much like I'm doing right now, but you need to do so with your own beliefs and not merely reiterate pets. If you can seriously say that you agree with any individual 100%, well, you're a dumbass. Although you follow a rational, free-thinking individual, you're not one. You're a sheep, just like any religious sheep. That's something that occurs on both sides of the aisle, theist and atheist. And, um, those people need to shut the fuck up. You're just making it harder for those of us with actual thoughts. There is only one thing you should take at face value from Pat Condell, the amazing atheist, myself, or any other atheists on YouTube. And that's when we say to think for yourself. After that, anything else is, um, open to scrutiny. With that out of the way, I also want to clear up one other thing. Now, this one for you, again, Life of Apollos. You seemed confused when Pat referred to Christianity, Judaism, and Islam as the desert dogmas. While it's true that Islam rejects the scripture of Judaism and Christianity, they still believe in that same solitary God of Abraham. They just believe that everyone else fucked it up until Muhammad came along and straightened shit out. But um, they are all three of the same lineage. The other thing you talk about is when atheists point out the barbarism of the Bible. The stoning to death of people who work on Sunday, the endorsement of slavery, the selling of one da one's daughter into slavery or prostitution, and so on. You say you don't understand why we always bring that up, when it's something that the mainstream tends to reject. Now, when I say we, obviously I don't speak for all atheists. But it's in the sense that this is what I mean, and what I at least, um, understand them to mean. But we're not telling you to do that shit, or that you need to do that shit. Far from, please, don't do that shit. What we're saying is that you seem to be under the impression that you're the real members of whichever religion you subscribe to, and that the fundamentalists are perverting scripture to fit their ideology. That's not quite accurate, though. They're not perverting anything. They're reading the shit literally for what it is. Those people marching with signs that say God hates fags, and those Jesus camp fuckers training their little army for Christ are the real Christians. Those people crashing planes into buildings and blowing themselves up in crowded malls are the real Muslims. As a moderate, you're rational enough to see that the cruelty and barbarism for what it is. And that's kind of a good thing. The problem is that your continued faith in God in the face of scientific progress only lends credence to these people. They see that the majority still believes, and that reaffirms their belief 
that they're the righteous ones who need to save us all, no matter what the cost. Y'all nitpick the little bits of good that's in these texts, and then claim them as the sole domain of faith. You act like morality can only be attained through God, when in fact it's an inherent human characteristic. We're a social bunch. Our dominance as a species has come from our cooperative abilities, love, compassion, and common decency have been ingrained in the human psyche because they are advantageous to our survival. Belief in the supernatural is not a prerequisite for cooperation. In fact, it's quite the opposite. Personal faith, the belief that you're the good people, and everyone who doesn't believe is going to burn in hell, has been the rationalization for the most horrendous atrocities in human history. September 11th, the Spanish Inquisition, and the Holocaust were all faith-based initiatives. Of course, we atheists are the immoral people, because instead of not killing each other, out of fear of eternal punishment, we do it out of common fuck decency. But, um, that's why we're so interested in your faith. Peace.